What up, fam? Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. This is A2D Wednesday night. Sixers, Suns, live reactions. Sixers West Coast trip begins. We're talking about it all. Let's go. I mean, how silly is that? I mean, we're talking about practice. Welcome in, everybody. This is A2D Wednesday nights. Only on A2D Radio every Wednesday, we are brought to you by Baggio's Bread, located in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Home of the best stuff, breads, tomato pie, sandwiches, cutlets, meatballs, you name it. Mention A2D, get 10% off. As always, PYP Young, Greg Milakovic, I'm Tom Arnone. Everybody out there, welcome in. We're missing some doggies this week. They'll be back next week. Hopefully, we're not missing any of you because we got a lot to go over. We'll go over Sixers West Coast trip. They got a four game. Four game West Coaster, always fun this time of the year, right? Yeah. Starts tonight, obviously against the Suns. Suns are up 14 13, 317 left here in the first quarter. We're going to give you live reactions to this and we're going to be answering all your comments, questions, concerns you have with the Sixers, especially as we watch this game <laughs> go on. We'll get into it all. <laughs> but before we even get into the game, let's go over a poll question for tonight. The Sixers will go two and two on their West Coast trip. Do you agree? Disagree? Let us know. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. That's where we're live. Everywhere you get your podcasts, we're there as well. Hit the like, subscribe, follow. Most importantly, join the conversation. 10, 9, 8, let's go. Let's go, because it's a big basketball game tonight. To start with tonight, tonight's a big game that you want to go get. You want to go get. And then Suns in the fourth quarter have, like, the lowest offensive efficiency in the, in the league. It's atrocious. And especially with the three guys they have, you'd be like, how? How? Well, it is. So, and that's something what we struggle with too. So tonight's a big game. To the poll, I'm going to agree out of hope. <laughs> you know, I'm going to agree strictly out of hope. I'm going to talk it into existence. Let me get a two and two. Anything more is full, <laughs> it's free money, essentially. But you got to stay in this six hole. The last thing you want to be doing for this basketball team is, is being in a playing game. No, 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 no. We got it. We got to get that six spot. It's so important. And the way other teams are playing right now in the Eastern Conference, everybody's hot as a pistol. So you got to go. You got to go win some games yourself. The winners are two in a row. You win the night. You can be winners of three in a row. Start feeling good about yourself. Joel's back at practice a little bit, and we could be off to a good, a really good start going into the postseason for once per se. But yeah, I, I'll agree. Talking to existence. What do you guys say, family out there? What do you say? Comment in. Let us know. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, Tommy. I mean, I. Yeah, tonight's the big one, right? Tonight is that one that you w- hope to steal. Uh, being, you know, nine and a half point dogs, no Tobias Harris, right? Tonight's that game that you can hope start this trip off. Uh, we could beat the Lakers. The Clippers are, are, are really tough. Uh, and then the Kings, right? Those are your four teams. If we win tonight, then you got to beat the Lakers and the Kings. And the Kings are, are, are a pretty good basketball team this year, right? They're playing well. Uh, I'm going to disagree, though. Uh, I, and I, I just don't think that we're going to get the win today. Uh, so I, I, I think it's going to start us off on the, on the wrong foot. Uh, I, I said, I do think we beat the Lakers though. And, but that's going to be our lone win. Uh, and if you think about it though, real quick too, these four games lead into that first date that they kind of thought that Joel might be available. And that's that March 27th. At home, ironically, against the Clippers or, or the Thunder, one of those two. I think it's the one of those two, right? But that's a week from today, right? Seven game, seven days from today is that first initial thought that they might see Joel back because that's that one lone home game in that in this stretch coming up. So something to keep an eye on throughout the next week with updates around Joel. Interesting. I didn't hear that yet. I didn't hear that target date yet. Well, that was when they first announced when they thought he was going to come back like a while ago, not necessarily recently. They were kind of targeting that end of April or, you know, they mean that end of March, early April. And it only made sense that that 327 being a home game was probably what they were kind of targeting. You know, in, what do you think in, of the odds of that? Yeah. But what do you think the odds of that are now? Probably slim. 
<laughs> just be, just because it, it, it's you know obviously they're on a road trip, so he's not going to fully practice with the team, right? And he might get his own work in, uh, and, and whatnot. But I, I'd say slim. I'd probably, if I'm putting a percentage on it, I'd probably go twenty two percent. Get out, get out of here. Not you, B ball Paul just, just <laughs> swatted SWAT party. Your best uh, Py. Friend. Yeah, my best bud. Best man, best man. Uh, Sixers will go two and two on their West Coast trip. What do you say, PY? Before we get into our our little bit of our watch party here tonight, Sixers. So Suns. I mean, I'd, I'd like to think so. I mean, the Lakers, other than LeBron, aren't are good. Other than LeBron is the only one there. I really fear AD can't keep it together. You know he's going to get hurt. Uh, Clippers, they're actually good right now, but they're in a slump. Suns, this should be your steal game, and the Kings are with what the Kings always are, you know, potential here, potential there, but they suck. Like, like this should be a trip where you should be able to go two and two. But once again, there's no Joel, you know, Tobias is a walking, talking black hole. And are your other guys going to be able to step up? Is Ubre going to be able to help you win games? Like, is Maxi going to be healthy? You know, all these things are going to factor in. Like, like obviously like th- this should be a good trip. To, to go to and to just with all these factors, but it's all going to come down to health with this team, which is the case of the season altogether. Ifs and health. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of, I mean, a lot not, of having, not having to bias for the first start of this trip and, and the last couple of games too. I mean, they won, but not having to bias is a killer, even though, is it, even is though it, we know what he is, but he, he's a, yeah, he's a veteran, right? You need all the help you can get in, in this you? time of year. Yeah, you do when you don't have all these guys, because you could you could use any. You're you're missing some offense right now too. Yeah, right. I mean, we we've struggled getting over a hundred the last. We didn't even get to a hundred the last two nights out. So you know we have an offensive struggle. So I mm-hmm. I prefer as many guys healthy as I can get without Joel and B. Even if those guys aren't any good or aren't worth what they're worth, what they're paid. Makes sense. Like I'll take anybody. Yeah. Anybody who can score a little bit, I'm I'm in for without Joel. That's a good yeah, shot by campaign so right there. Freaky. Like he can have a game where he could have 32, and then the next three games he could average like six six points a game. Like that's just what drives me crazy about Tobias because he's good. He's just not consistent in any facet of his game. Yeah, I, I hear you. I'm not doing it to bias you're not wrong. Right? Cause no, you're not wrong because I just don't I don't care enough. The bias Harris isn't gonna make or break my end goal. That that's all I care about. My end goal is getting Joel healthy because I think this team's good enough. Sure. I just do. I think they're good enough when they ha- when they have all their pieces. I think they have a lot of different guys who complement Joel and be really well. There's another campaign make four in a row for Cameron Payne. Sixers up 19-17. There we go. We got D it up a little. Play we got we gotta get Ponzi all night. Because obviously, like we talked about, not scoring at an elite clip right now. Nope. No. And rightfully so. You yeah, take you 35 out. Yeah, you take 35 and you take 18 out. Yeah. Not easy. Not easy to replace. And then all the, you know, all the shots yeah, and, at and, Ooh, the alley oop. The hell you? Nice. Little B-ball Paul, the, the, the Kenyon Martin. Is that Kenyon? <laughs> is that Kenyon? Is Yo, that up, up and away. Is on that neck? Are there up, lips up on that away. neck? <laughs> Isn't it supposed to kissing. go the other way? It's supposed to be KJ to, to Paul Reed. <laughs> oh. Who was that? Was that you, Banks? You really think what you that? really think B-ball Paul's getting up that high? Did Eubanks really just jump? I feel like Eubanks just dunked it from the free throw line. <laughs> yeah, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, logo talk. <laughs> what the heck happened here? Was that a foul? I don't know what, this, I don't know what he just did there. Oh, okay. They started the clock. They rolled the ball in, but the clock started. Oh, so Payne was like, "Oh, Maxi, let's go, baby, let's go." Twenty three nineteen Sixers. I'm glad I'm ahead of this thing finally over here. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I don't like that. I don't like that peak of Bowen. Yeah, what was it? Sunday when we did the Knicks? Yeah. <laughs> that was before everybody. <laughs> Maxi, Maxi, a little fadeaway there, too. That was pretty. I love it. That was pretty. Let me know when you see it, Greg, 20 minutes later. Yeah, it'll be like 50 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> oh, good day. Come yeah. on, Paul. God damn it, Paul. Hold on to the basketball. We got ads going on here. What's going on around here? A plus commercials. <laughs> what is going on around here? At, oh, end of the quarter, probably all those ads. Yeah. <laughs> what did we use last time, Greg? We did use ESPN. We did, you, right? uh, yeah, but yeah, you went to the box score at the quarter, so it 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 didn't. Yeah, I'm here. You know what I mean? Yeah, now you are. Here you go. Don't question me. I, I wasn't. Feel like, I, I feel like you're questioning my me now. Like I'm linked into your questioning tonight. Not happy about it. <laughs> Zooming in on you. Well, can we all I'm, just I'm, get along. I'm just enlarging screens right now, so I can like have a conversation with everybody. I don't know why my computer was all glitched out. Like you had one screen open and it was like gigantic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. After one, we're finally here. Ubre. Here you go, PY. Ubre got seven in the first, three for five from the field, yeah. nine minutes. Massey ended the quarter with four, two for seven. He did have two, uh, did have a steal, two dimes. Kyle Lowry, two points, three assists, one for three. He actually had a really good game against Miami. <clears throat> Mo Bamba, Bamba time. He has two points and Somehow two points. In the league. And Nicholas Batoon. You're seven foot. You're going to stay in the league. <laughs> seven minutes, one block. Greg Oden would disagree. And oh, campaign's Greg got four. Move. <laughs> campaign's got four, and KJ Martin has four as well off the bench. So there's your there's your bench points. It's interesting and, they have Tobias listed on the roster or like on the the box score. So he is available, but it doesn't look like obviously they're going to play him tonight. He was a well, game time decision coming into it, so he was a shoot around. He, you know, he he was he obviously is available, but they're probably not going to play him if he if he wasn't starting. I expect nothing less from Mister Crumble Cookie. You're so stuck on him. You're so stuck on him. Yeah, because I, mean, I defended got... him for so long, and like so did I. It, it bit me in the ass. Well, it didn't. Well, yeah, we, the season's not did. over. No, no, no. Because hold on, PY, this is what I'll tell you. Like, I, I feel the same way you do about him because I defended him as well. But the, it's not. It, what, let's let's get into it after the season. Like th th this, this shit, this shit don't mean nothing. Like if you get into the dance, right? Like I don't care about regular season basketball, right? Until it's until it's time to like, uh oh, you might be in a playing game. Then I care about it. Yeah. I don't care about it anymore. We've been a one I mean, seed. We've been a two seed. We've been close. a three seed. We've been a four seed. We've been a five. We've been every goddamn seed that you want to throw in there, and we haven't came out with what we wanted yet. So I will judge everybody after I see how guys play in the postseason. You know what I mean? So you, he could be averaging thirty a game. And and it, and come up small in the postseason, and that does not matter to me, for for any of them, for Joel, Tobias, you know, the only one who gets like a pass in a way would be Maxi, but he's enough of a veteran now, where like not a veteran, but you understand what I'm saying? He's in his third year. Mm -hmm. He didn't just start playing basketball here, like it's you know it's his junior year. Like that's where guys make their biggest jumps usually, right? If not sophomore year, junior year, right? Right around those years where guys make their jumps. Can you bank stop jumping out the gym, please? Like, goodness gracious. I'm tired of seeing Drew Eubanks jumping out the gym out of all guys. Should be out jumping anything. The Suns in house. I somehow got the Suns feed. I thought I was on NBC Sports, but they're showing the in, in arena. Their in, in arena host is thick with two C's. Holy smoke. But he healed, made it three, 26. There we go. 26, Power, 23. Book a buddy. Oh, oh my God. Ball ball just made an 18 footer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because, you know, it's what you expect, you know, because he's, he's just so good at basketball. We got a miss coming up. <laughs> got a miss. Woo. Oh my God. KJ. 
Buddy, where are you going, buddy? Why would we go back out the... Oh, my God. I hate that shot. I hate it. Like, he got, he got a loose ball, like, under, like inside the free throw line. Like, just look to go back up with that, bro. Yeah, yeah. And he literally worked himself out the three to take a three, which, again, if it goes down, great. But it, it rattled. You know what makes sense? It rattled. It yeah. wasn't a terrible shot. But come on, dude. That's what I hate. When now, he, now he takes it hard to the basket. Hey, campaign. For three. Yep. Let's go. Video. That was a big one right yeah, there. It's on violence. <laughs> it's it's the uh you know it's obviously the NBA right Tom like we're always working for threes right yeah. we're working for threes working for threes as opposed to taking well, uh, what's whoa, given whoa, to hold you. on timeout flag on the playoff size clipping you have twenty one already uh no, that can't be right that can't be right they have they have twenty four rebounds so how. They grabbed the ball after the show. No. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Like, I well, love to give you. I, I, don't need your, I don't need your sass up there. <laughs> because Put to up your point earlier. Chucks. Because to your point earlier, right? We have Mo Bamba and Paul Reed playing center. <laughs> oh my God. No, they're why? Bad. Greg, they why every bad? time the, every time we watch a game, why do our players continue to want to box out facing the other player? It, what, it, what? it boggles my mind. Played basketball, you've coached it, you played it. Right? I'm not gonna tell you I've coached a game of basketball, but play basketball long enough to yeah. know the proper technique of how to box out a player, a, an opposing player. That's like the 101, like the like the introduction to basketball. It's an introduction to basketball, Tom. Here you go. I got Paul and, Reed and and Manu, 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 Mo Bamba. Manu, Manu. Got Mo Bamba boxing out facing players. Well, Kyle hey. Lowry's going up and put his booty in. You know what? Okay. Campaign. Campaign. Let's go. For King. three. It's the revenge and, game, baby. And if you're boxing out facing them, it's automatically almost a foul, right? He makes your this. Hands, I'm leaving. Your I'm hands leaving. are on them. Oh, my God. I'm Did he hit another one? I'm done. I'm done. I'm leaving tonight. The ball of ball course like- it's the ball ball game <laughs> of all games. Bowl Bowl versus Mo Bamba. Like, right. come on, right? Can't, campaign <laughs> heat check. They're both, they're both awfuls. We said a campaign heat check. <laughs> I'm sure that went well. <laughs> oh, that's not a carry. You shoot until you miss. It's Durant. I mean, I don't expect it to be, but can, can we, like, can we call stuff, please? Yeah, I feel like Durant, I mean, he's got big legs, right? But I feel like he took 14 steps there. <laughs> but those are like chicken legs. Don't talk about chicken legs. Because you know, I've been I was dealt that hand. Buddy bricks it. And that's just another great play by Nicholas Batoon. Yeah, you know I mean that's why oh, I love man. Nick Batoon. You uh, give me oh, I, you uh, no no, you give me four Nick Batoons and Joel Embiid, like like versions of Nick Batoon. We're winning, we're winning a lot of basketball games. Well, because was- he's so good, even if the stats don't show it, like he is such a he's such a good guy. To where he just does everything you ask of him. Absolutely does. That was the Allen Iverson era Sixers, right? George Lynch, Aaron McKee, Eric yep. Snow, right? You know what I mean? Like that was George that era Sixers. Was literally, he was the wa- he's a walking, talking garbage in the gold guy. Yeah. Uh, campaign, another mess. There we go. Yeah, Tommy. Tommy's right. He said uh, Durant carried the ball three times. I know, yeah. Tom. That's what I'm thinking. Like, well, he does. Oh, good point. Hey, hey Mo. Hey, man, Bamba time. Bamba time. A little strippy. He's getting lit up by Bull Bull, so he had to do something. Well, I mean, Eubanks. You know, that he, song is going to be more memorable than his career. Kyle Lowry from three. Nope. <laughs> I think it's going to be one of these. A lot of guys yeah, from three. Nope. Oh, my God. Stop it. He made another one. He Bull made Bull? Another one. This guy made another one. What is going on around here? Is this, this is a Bull Bull 30-point game? This is, un- this is unbelievable. Campaign doesn't get the roll and doesn't get the call. Not happy about that at all. Oh, a little steal, Nick Patoon. Oh, campaign. Uh, Look at campaign, the unselfish play. Campaign had an easy walk away layup. Guess what he does? He dishes it. This is the buddy. This is the buddy for buddy to get get a, get an easy bucket. 
There we I go. I like so that, huge. actually. That's so huge, basketball. too. Absolutely. And and when you have a guy like Buddy who who has, hasn't been shooting it great recently, he needs to see the ball go through the hoop. Of course, Absolutely. when you get him, he's, he forgets how to shoot threes. Right. Isn't that our lock? Yeah. Yes. That would that, That's why it's so amazing that, like, not to change topics real quick, but the whole Shohei stuff. Like, it, you can, can you imagine, like, if, if, if Philly signed Shohei and then he goes through this? Like, we're like, of course. This is not our only this is our would he be a 6RA pitcher, <laughs> he would be like a below the Mendoza line hitter. That's exactly what would happen. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. You know, that's true. Here's some production here. So, Buddy Heal, that's 10 now. Or so, campaign has no, 10. Campaign, campaign has, 10. has 10. Campaign has 10. Buddy's got five. KJ Martin's got four. There's your bench production, which is really good. Ubre seven. Maxi four. Rally two. And nice to have an Bamba. actual bench. Bamba two. And then just Nick Batoon doing everything a block, a steal, two boards. That's stuff so we'd like to see. Sorry. They didn't even take a shot yet, and had and had fingerprints in the game already. That's what I love from guys he's like he's he's what yeah. people thought PJ Tucker was going to be. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. That's good for call, half Pete. the price, for sure. Like when they talked about that trade, they're like, "Oh, you gave up Harden and Tucker," and I'm like, "No, I will take Batum and Covington, every other thing else we got with that over those two guys." Like PJ Tucker was a black hole at like $15 million a year to do nothing. Like Clippers yeah. fans are figuring this out right now. Oh my God, we're paying this much money to do absolutely nothing on the stat sheet. <laughs> but you know, he's a great team guy. He's going to really clap it up at halftime. That's what you need. So we need, we need great team hey, guys, but no, hey, man, yeah. that, that great Daryl Morey team building. They're done with them there too, right? So they've had yeah. they've had enough. Yep, they've absolutely had. Well, enough. Remember, they thought they were they thought they were going on a streak, and then uh, eventually, like it always happens with the Clippers, they get hurt. It's not an if with them; it's a when. That's for sure, especially with those guys, right? With Kawhi, yep. with Pete, with, with Kawhi, with George, George, Harden. Westbrook. I'm shocked that no one's murdered anybody yet. Yeah. Yeah. Bobo is like, he's one of those dudes to where people just bring him up all the time. They're like, oh, he doesn't get a fair shot. Well, if he sucks everywhere he goes and he keeps getting opportunities, one of two things it is. It's either he sucks or they're holding him back. I'm willing to argue it's that he's just not good. Grayson Allen for three. That's Got good. it. That's what are you good. doing, man? 38 34. Phoenix, if you're just joining us, this is A2D Wednesday nights. This one fell in our lap. Maxi from three. Nope. Uh, oh, yeah. This one fell in our laps tonight. Could we Being stop shooting? It means threes, we're a 10 15 nice. start. <laughs> we're a 10 15 start, and you got a 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock game. So it fell right in our lap. So here we are. Little watch party, watching along with the family. Wherever you're tuning in from, hit the like, subscribe, follow. Most importantly, though, wherever you're tuning in from, let's fuck with an algorithm tonight. Everybody, comment it. All right, everybody, up for a little, little, little mess around an algorithm talk one time. Let's go, Bamba from Ubre, the dunk. Ooh, turnover. I like turnover. Yep, just got. I didn't get to it yet. Oh, ball, ball again. Dude, how do you make that pass? That's absurd. You guys should have seen that pass he just made. Looking like a lengthy Durant. <laughs> In the first 25 minutes, we got a split poll. We got 50-50 on 18 votes. Well, if you're over on YouTube, you can go ahead and vote for the poll. Will the, will the Sixers go 2-2 two and two on their four-game West Coast trip? Can I change my mind? Yes. Survey says. <laughs> well, I mean, too many threes, man. Like, yeah. you're not making them. Like, I just watched the possession. NBA. I just watched the possession we took where we just took two, two, two threes. Yeah, this is going to be one of these games. At least, right. like, three passes before you shoot a three. 
We've taken we've taken 15 three pointers. We are what three we? for 15. I was gonna say three. two. Might might, might want to put 15. the ball. I want to put the ball on the floor a little bit. Get to the hole. Maybe you know, wanna, pass the yeah. ball, you know, uh, get the rock going. Like maybe pass. Somebody drive to the basket. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like especially how when we you get downhill. Like, taxi, like let's get downhill a little bit one time. Is that allowed? I thought we could just chuck up threes. You can chuck up threes all day when you if you ain't shooting 20, 20 goddamn percent. You know what I mean? You yeah, they're going in. It, it's just, yeah, it's. There's, there's Eubanks again. Here's Eubanks. It's going to shove it up her ass tonight, all night. Well, that got ugly quick. 4436. Down eight. Really needing a bucket. Campaign delivers. Good take. Good, strong take. Right on cue. Right on cue, boys. It's what we need it. Yeah, so campaign showed up to play so far tonight. The, the only one looking game. like a pass, uh, a pulse. Oof. Oh, Mo. I know I'm late, but Mo Bamba with a three. Holy smokes! Now I know Tommy why you're all fired up. We got a Mo Bamba and a Kelly Oubre three. Yeah, in back to back sequences. Holy smokes! And we're gonna run out the gym now. Yes, indeedy. Oh, yeah, we got a full time out Sixers. Up. Booker's heating up. Even Booker, Royce O'Neal for three. Oh, Got he it. Kills us. He kills us. Who was he? Was who was he with? Uh, what Utah? Right before yep. before Phoenix, and he killed us every time we went to Utah. Why'd they take that three off the board? I'm not mad at it. Twenty percent, and they are sixty-three. They are forty. <laughs> Or well, 47 now after that one. 47%. The fact that you're even in the game is, is absolutely remarkable, right? You're you're in the game. They got well, 31 they boards. On. They got 31 boards. We have 15. Oh, that's how many some, te- that's how many some teams get in a game, not in a half. And look, we're 16 for 40 from the field overall, right? So, like, get yeah. downhill. Get to the bucket. You're not going to beat them. By trying to out three points shoot that. It's just not gonna happen. It's not, it's not a smart way to go play against the Suns, in my opinion. Is to try to no. get into all right, you know, we're gonna we're just gonna shoot threes. Our our starters combined are 0 for seven from three. Our starters. The only threes are from Cameron Payne and Buddy Hill. That's it. That's it. That's a winning recipe. Yeah, real winning right now. Michael says Maxi Maxi sucks tonight. Not having a good start. Yeah, two and nine a good three. start. Chris says, "Yeah, I don't know how I'm doing it." Chris, I see, <laughs> he says, "I seriously don't know how anyone can watch this team play." Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, it, it's definitely a struggle without the big fella. And I think now we know how. Not that we didn't, right? But now we really know it can see how important he is. Yep. To what we're trying to do. But I do yeah, believe there's bad. enough. My, comp- my buddy's going to the game on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't he got They him. got him tickets when they thought they were going to be good. And then when they thought I was going to be healthy. Martian, what do you want us to do? All right. We came in. This is what we had. <laughs> this is what we had. We, I've been freaking pounding the Eagles for two weeks in goddamn March. You know what I mean? It was, it was back to the Sixers. Back to the drawing board, Martian. Here we are. Martian, Not we could talk Sixers it. or we could talk Kenny Pickett versus Justin Fields. Yeah, I think the Sixers prefer, might be the better bet. Yeah, prefer that, possibly. <laughs> Michael said, I can't believe I'm watching this game from Minnesota. I need my head examined. I can't believe I'm actually doing a watch party <laughs> yeah. with 132 people. Actually, 141. Let, come on. Let's get this up here. Get it up over two. Let's get into the fives. Everybody comment in. Let's know where you're tuning in from. All right? Let's know where you're tuning in from and what's your confidence level on this team going into the postseason and having Joel back. How you feeling? How you feeling? We might be in a playing game. So I say, what's your confidence level that we're not in a playing game? Let's start that. Sixers down 12. We're out of the timeout. 
some of us would probably prefer just to go back to the timeout. Yes. <laughs> but we're out of the timeout. And um, let's Surely not draw we have th- a good play drawn up. We'd love to. And it's a three. For Batoon. <laughs> there we go. Nicholas. Nicholas, Batoon. let's go. We needed that, though. Yeah, we did. And it's, again, going back to the impacts that he has on games. The, the little things that he does. He just get hurt. Oh, the good old gorilla. Who doesn't love the gorilla? The gorilla is awesome. Of course. I think he just what do you mean it. gorilla? The the Phoenix mascot, the gorilla. Oh, I, I did not know that was their uh, mascot. Where you been? Living in a freaking cave? What is wrong with you, Pete? You know, the Suns, you... I don't focus on the Suns. What do you mean? It's he, been the same guy for, he's been for, the guy for 41 since years. Early and Rex Chapman. I mean, come on. Okay, I do. I do love me some Rex Chapman, but <laughs> can't love guy, Rex Chapman man. if you don't if you don't know the gorilla. All right, if you don't know the I gorilla, know, I follow it's... Rex. I don't really focus on the their mascot. They're the Suns. Well, Batum got it. Another. No, uh, yeah, it's, I'm oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. works. We need well, points well, right now, right? He's... We were down twelve a second ago. Pomsey. Uh, Allen for three. Sure, it's good. Yep. Yep. Boop. Where are we down? Ten? I need this game tonight. It's a big I need one. this game. I, I was kinda... For three? Nope. Sorry, Greg. Go ahead. No, I was almost kind of thinking, poll question, this is a must win, but I couldn't do that when you're missing the bias, right? You're nine and a half, or eight and a half, nine point dogs. Tough to be a must win there, but it almost feels like it, Tommy, because <laughs> Lowry looks like a guy from my you're, city league. You're at 14 games left in the season right now, right? And you're a half game up on the you're a half game up on the uh the last uh of the playing games, right? Well now it's I guess Indiana. Dude, uh, they just gave Maxi a wide open three, and we couldn't hit that. Like they gave it to him. Yeah. Because they yeah, know they're Greg, shooting twenty percent from three. Greg, you're down to the home stretch here. That's yeah, not a walk. So the and fuck? Indiana won tonight. So now we're tied with Indiana. We're still ahead of them, but we're tied. What is that uh, shit? for that six spot? What is that? I think shit? we're heading to the play on playing game. That's just my opinion. Wait, Indiana lost tonight, right? Is that what you said? No, they won. Oh yeah. So now they're tied with us. Well, they are. Oh, for right now. For now, yeah, yeah. What'd you call right there? Oh, he's gonna get teed up. He's Nick Nurse is fired up, <laughs> fired up, red as can be. He's the only player who's hot on the on the court right now. Love it, love it. Get after him. Get up in him. Oh my God, we're allowed to rebound. <laughs> is that legal? You just hope you can you can keep this from getting too far away here before the end of the quarter. Yeah. Could could really use a bucket or two. Or twelve. Yeah. Star would want. Start small here, Pete. Start small. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta one start foot with in front of the other there, Tommy. Uh James, I don't know if he's the best three point shooter. Like, what do you mean is the best three point shooter? Like in the world? Like what, what, what do you mean? What do you mean by I, that? I, I do enjoy Grayson Allen. I'm like one of the few people. No, but I don't know what we mean by like the best three point shooter. I mean, he, probably, he just call there. The Suns probably third on his team. What they just call there? Max even walked into that open three. Like he like hop skipped in a jump and then still missed it. Oh my God! Does we just get it? We get a shot clock violation. <laughs> The ran from three. Oh, they got it. They missed one. Could really use one. The tune, no call. Or did he get the call? Well, what was he it? He is uh, shooting like 48% from three. So, yeah. But end the game. Are, are, are you drawing up a play for Devin Booker, KD, or Grayson Allen? I mean, if you're hot, you're hot. I didn't ask that. I said, at the end of the game, are you growing up a play for Booker, Durant, or Allen? I mean, obviously, KD or Booker, but. Yeah. That's uh, so I hear. Like, percentage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Leading the league in three point percentage. I got, I got. 
Yeah, back. that's all fine and good. No, when somebody says he's the best, I, I, I just like okay, this year he's shooting it the best. Yes. Yeah. Like, he's like, always been. Yeah. A... Yeah. Well, so I agree. I'm shocked he didn't get tossed there, just so he didn't have to watch this. <laughs> That's probably the only reason they kept if we if this was a competitive game, they probably would have tossed it, but they're like, nah, man, you can sit with this. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna get you out of here, Nick. You're gonna have to watch we have to watch it, so do you. <laughs> yep. You can't go. That, I feel like that would be such a star. fun rule to where it's like, all right, you're down 30. I'm gonna get tossed. Nope, you're in here the rest of the game. We're actually sending you the overtime. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we got an extra five to play just for funsies. You missed the second one, Nick. You missed the second one, Nick. Oh, what a late call. Go fuck yourself. What a late call. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? You caught it 20 minutes later. 20 minutes later. The play was over five goddamn minutes. And then you went, oh, oh, oh was Booker. Oh, was Devin, we're yeah. sorry. We're sorry, Ben. We're sorry. We're getting our ass kicked here. We don't need, we don't need, they don't need any more help. Maybe oh, a help. God. They don't need any help beating us. Well, yeah, I, I would hope not with, like, four all-star type players on your starting four. You can't beat this team without Joel and Tobias. I don't know what to tell you. How old is Nick Batum, by the way? He, I think he's like 75. I think he's in like his 30s. Isn't he? I'm going to find out. I know. Me asking. Me Big asking bucket. It's Kelly Oubre. Big bucket. If you want to call this him. This team big. makes me miss the process era so much. Yeah, down 30, 14. Yeah, 35. Down 14. You got 14 seconds left. Beal's got the basketball. This is after an Oubre make. Oh, turnover. No, it goes right to Grayson Allen for three. Are you Fuck fucking me? Fuck are you it. literally are you literally bending me over tonight with that? We get a steal. Oh, no basket. What happened? Loose ball foul on Bradley Beal. Wow. Okay. Ooh, thank All you. All right. I'll take I'm that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the things okay. that were said. But <laughs> I don't I don't want to I don't want to go. You guys but like you just been sure rewind. Like, well, I'm trying to calm down. First of all, I'm trying to calm down on my language at times. And then we want to do watch parties. And then yeah. what do you think is going on? Like we're going to do Sixers watch parties. Yeah. Any watch party because it's either excitement or it's misery. Yeah, for sure. And the excitement I haven't I, used you know, my one F bomb yet. No, save it. You got plenty of time. <laughs> We've still got a whole second half to do. Yeah, a whole second half. Oh You're plenty of time. Keep that one in the chamber. Chucks would limit me to my one for show. That's funny. You're the, you're the limit. You're the limit. So Sixers down 14. Lowry's at the line. Could use both of them. <laughs> oh, he missed the first one. He missed the second start. one. Yeah, there you go. And another foul. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Punch yourself in the face, Kyle. You can send me to Wildwood right now. Bank, you can send me anywhere. Put me on a playground. They're like, Tom, go shoot free throws. There are competitions I used to win. You understand? That's not me making that up. There are the competitions I used to win it in my basketball camp days. All right? <laughs> and now Uber and this one. Uber is home. I'm gonna flip out. I'm gonna flip out. I can't watch this anymore. My blood pressure is just flying through the roof. I feel what my heart the, rate. What flying. was the Audubon basketball uh, camp? Uh, who's the guy that ran it over in Haddon Heights or Audubon? You know who I'm talking about. Oh yeah, about. Timmy Lenahan. Yeah, Lenahan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, Tim? Yeah, Timmy Len. And there are the, the competitions I won a lot of. A lot of. I feel good saying that. Like, dude, I'm a white kid from the suburbs. Better be able to shoot the goddamn basketball at a high clip. All right? Better at least be able to hit free throws. Yeah, and just being honest with the people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I bet I'm an Italian guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm good. I'm good team Italy. Okay, so let's keep it. Let's keep it real. I gotta be able to shoot the basketball <laughs> at a high clip. So Larry Bird drill was my buddy. That's my friend, my bestie. <laughs> Hand and cookie jar talk. All right, so. At the end of the day, 
I'm just like, dude, I'll go out there at 41 and literally wear some dudes out at this level from the free throw line. I swear by that. I'm not going to go rubbing down the court and beat you, but I will wear your free throw line out. And then I got I got pro who's missed three in a row. Three in a row. They're free. I, I yell about this yearly on A2D from the day it, it, the inception of the company. Right? Like, oh, no, they're free. Facts. They're free. It's the easiest thing in all sports. It's literally the easiest thing in all sports to do. What's easier than a free throw? What? You tell me. I, I don't know that I just, I just thought of this right now. But what's easier than a free throw? That's why it's called a free throw. Goodness gracious. Yeah, there's no one guarding you. There's no one running at you. You have essentially all the time in the world. I know you don't. You, you really don't, but. You have time to get yourself set. You can thank Wilt for that. I mean, what a joke. What a joke. I'm Sixers down. One. Sixers down 13 at half. We Leading scores. It, it'd be under 10. Well, no, because they got the rebound on the one, right? So you can't count it. Yeah, true. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not just not just that one, but like, I mean, we're five of eleven in free throws. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's been others for sure. <laughs> there has <laughs> been others. It wasn't just them. Uh, but two <laughs> went one and two, right? We talked about that. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, Kyle Kyle missed his only two. Leading scores campaign leads the way with twelve. He's a minus thirteen. Uh, Kelly Rubere has ten. Tyrese Maxey is on a milk carton. 19 minutes, two for 10 from the field, four points. I mean, he's he's finding shots because he's just jacket right now. I mean, in a game like this, how can you not? Yeah, I can mix well, in some makes. When you're two for 10, though, you, you can mix in some getting to the hole, getting fouled, right, getting others involved. If you're two for 10, I'd rather see that assist number at six, seven than four right now. You know, read the room a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but you know how it is. Like you want to you want to keep going because you think you're gonna get yourself out of the funk. Oh, I hear you. Next Sunday night, John. Agree to disagree, baby. Yeah, John. We got you. And I'm I'm sure next Wednesday too. You know, opening day's Thursday. So yeah, opening day's Thursday. For everybody else that's not in Seoul. (laughs) For everybody else that's not in Seoul right now, opening day is is on Thursday. Put your money on it, like Shohei. I, I like how like people woke up this morning and they're just like, "Wait, there was baseball on this morning." Bill says Sixers lose five of the next six. Tough run ahead. And will limp into the playoffs as an eight seed, and even with him beat coming off an injury, he'll be well rested. And as a seed fan, I'd rather play anybody else. Yeah, I would rather play anybody else too, Bill. So yeah, we're appreciate not begging you. for you right now, but <laughs> appreciate you. A little, a little yeah. humble brag there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, like just making clear you're just you're the one seed, but want no parts yet. So I mean, once you say, "Oh yeah," scared of you, we're uh, yeah, yeah. You, you could say it. Keep saying that out loud for us. Um, rather but see no. Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. Well, they haven't they haven't won a playoff series that isn't LeBron since like 89. So I would actually feel comfortable. <laughs> oh, this chat. Marge said, let's talk presidential elections, perhaps. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rudy Maxi has googly eyes for KD. The guy can't play against his favorite player growing up. Shake my head. Wow. That's what you think it is. Okay. Maybe they're, they're just a better team. Like that's just where they are right now. This it's it's just a bunch of guys until Embiid comes back. For anyone who is quite for anyone who is questioning like Embiid's impact on this team, there you go. They're they're a less they're less watchable than any processed era team. There you go. Yeah, yeah, well, I get it. maybe. I think it's it's the right? back. Give it's me, the give me Brandon Davies. Give me a uh, Furkan Aldermir. But it's the expectation, right? You knew those teams sucked, so you didn't you didn't buy into them thinking they were good. 
Yeah, you would love for this to be a process team. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, let's go back and redo the process with this team. <laughs> let's get TJ McConnell back and call him Baby Nash and all the other stupid things I used to call him. Yeah, you and Wilson. I didn't know people called him Baby Nash. That's absurd. Yeah. So we, we were awful. So I, I needed to come up with things to like to make the season not awful. So I had like Photoshop things like he's baby Nash, he's baby Stockton, he's like all these ridiculous things where it's just like their face edited over TJ McConnell's head. It was hilarious. Oh my Whatever God. gets you through. Yeah. Hey man. Process times were were hard for everybody. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> yeah, my guy not Joey easy. <laughs> My guy Joey used to do fireball shots for how many points we won on the rare occasions that we won. Fireball shots are a good time. Hey, man. Got sponsored by Fireball at one point. Let's do it. Then our live then our uh, live reaction shows will be really off the rails. Oh, my God. Can't go wrong with a good chilled Fireball, man. Oh, it is delicious. I was away for the weekend and came back to find that my stash of Fireball had been taken uh I've been taken out. That's disappointing. I'm sorry to hear that. No, they got used. It was well worth it. Just not by me. I, I think I had one in my fridge that was like it was there for just like a year, year and a half. And I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to finish you. So we are at four this is game 14 left in the season, right? Yeah. And I, that that game against it's the Clippers. That game against the Clippers on March 27th at home. That's that 10 game again. Going back to the Joel uh, potential return and when that's going to be. That Clippers game here in a week is 10 games left in the season, and then the next home game is three games after that. I think it's like April 1st or 2nd. Let me see what the exact date is. And that's against Oklahoma City. It is April 2nd. That would give them seven games left. And I bring up those games because they're the home games, right? After Clippers at home, you go two on the road. Then you come home for Oklahoma City. Then you go three on the road. And then you end the season at home for three. So, in theory, you could come back April 9th against Detroit and had three games at home. So one of those situations is when he's going to be back. I mean, I would like, I don't think next week's the realistic target. I, I, I'm with you at this point. Um, yes. I think it's, I think it's the next one after that. I think it's at that Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. City. You said that was the second, right? Yeah, April, April 2nd. It's a yeah. TNT game. So I bet you. Sounds, sounds. I, <laughs> I mean, they need, unless that's that. So that'd be 10 left, right? That'd be seven left. Seven. That's the, that's the number I was at from day one. Give me, give me seven games. Give me five games, right? I think any of that gets you ramped up enough, right? It gets your body conditioned to play, right? Because that first one's going to be hard, and you got to build up stamina from that, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I would say, I would say, I would target that game, and because guess what? Then you could still be in striking distance for that sixth spot, right? You just got to win some games. You're going to have to steal some games. And it's yeah, it's not yeah, it's not and it's not easy coming up. Obviously, we got the four games here on the on the West Coast. You got Lakers on Friday, and then you go back to back. Twenty uh, Clippers on twenty fourth. So what's that Sunday? Yep, Sunday, and then Monday you have the Sacramento. Then you come home for the Clippers. Fun. Then you're at Cleveland, at Toronto, home for Oklahoma City. At Miami, at Memphis, USA. and then the last five. The last five should be winnable, maybe outside of Orlando. Because you go at Memphis, at San Antonio, home Detroit, home Orlando, and home Brooklyn to end the season. Yeah. So where's your head at? Fourteen games. Let's see here. I have them going one and three in this trip. Uh, 
and you go five and two or four and three in the final seven. So if you end the game, if you end the, the let's just say the last five games, you go four and one, right? You do lose to Orlando. Let's just call it right. And I'm not saying that it, it's going to happen, but who knows? I mean, Joel's back. We might win five in a row. Uh, but if you go four and one, you win Memphis five. Can yeah beat Toronto six. And then if you win one, you know one two of these, you can win. You can finish out five hundred or better, eight eight and six, seven and seven, right? I don't think that's crazy talk, especially the fact that you're gonna get Joel back at some point, even on a minutes restriction. And Tommy, you, I mean, you, and it's not tr- it's not wrong, but you say it all the time, right? He's a point per minute guy anyway, right? So it doesn't matter right. how many minutes he plays. He's going to be 20. impactful. Yeah, I could use his 20 and 20. That'd be nice. And when I say 20 and 20 minutes, like I, I, this team could absolutely use that. 100%. And I just – and I think the biggest thing that I don't think is talked about enough in terms of Sixers podcast, et cetera, is, again, how this team is built for, around him. Mm-hmm. Like that's why the moves at the deadline I was in favor of because I thought they were even building it more around him. And why I was more yep. in favor of it is because of twofold. One, I knew he was coming back. And they believed it. And two, I, I loved, I love the moves. Look at them. I love those moves when he's there. Now you're not going to get the spacing now that you get when he's there. So I, I, I look at these guys' numbers and I, eh, eh. you take the most unguardable guy in the world, and you, and you have to try to stop him defensively. That frees up the world for guys, the world. So that's for any great player. That's for any point per minute cat. Or anybody that's fingerprints are all over game plans, defensive schemes. You know, team scheme to beat him. Tyrese Maxey isn't yeah. built yet. Tyrese Maxey hasn't gotten himself there yet to be the type of player to carry you. It, 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 that takes time, man. Like you, you he lost the, the hardest thing for him is losing that impact around him because one, it was hard enough for Tyrese to develop into the game plan shifting when he became the second option. Mm-hmm. That's we a different that last year, right? Yeah. Yep. And we, and this year he's talked about at the beginning of the year with Joel. So then you, so then you get to this point. Now he learned how to do that. And now it's like, well, you gotta be the, you gotta be the main dog. That's, that's not easy for a 23 year old. Yeah. No. Not easy. I'm not saying it's like, you know, you had Anthony Wig, you know, you had, not Wiggins, you had Anthony Edwards to do it. Sure. Right, that's a cat who could probably do it at that age. But yeah, when you, you go know what I mean? expecting to be Robin and you're thrust into being Batman, if not everyone can do it. You could probably do it at 27, make it do it at 25. You know, not every player is going to be able to pull that off at 23. A lot of guys, there's growth to this shit. There's levels to this. To this, it ain't it ain't just stardom for everybody, right? He's had to work his ass off to get to the point he's at, right? And, and he'll work through these, but. I can't have Joel and be back fast enough, and neither can the Sixers, because yeah. I'm excited yeah. to see what it looks like. I'm ready to go six to midnight to see how this look how this <laughs> looks like. I can't wait to get as hard as a rock. All right, we'll be all. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. easy to you... kill him. Yeah, well, I might kill something that night with it. Ding ding. <laughs> that was such a bad. I mean, everyone will be better when he's back. Like, not even just from an offensive point. Like, obviously, like, you're going to get your 30 from him. But, like, you're going to get your your 15-plus boards. You're going to get to the free throw line, which you're you're missing, like, at least 20, 25 three throw, three throw attempts a game. Not, not to mention the fact that you're going to get guys open because he's, he's going to be opening the lane. They're going to be doubling him in the lanes, and that means your shooters are going to get open. Your heels are going to get open. Maxi's going to get his open shots. Ubre's going to get open. And the most important thing I don't think people talk enough about is his defense. Like he's blocking yeah. shots. Like he is making it hard and and difficult for like other players driving in lane. Like that's exactly like what you need and what this team is missing. Like people can Absolutely. talk about his impact in one way or another, but like this team is not the same person without Joel Embiid. Like it's not the same on offense. It is sure as hell not the same on defense. No, and that's been talked about a lot 
on here. You know, that it's not just his impact offensively, which is a huge loss, it's his impact defensively, too. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're just tuning in and you're a diehard, diehard 10 9 8 hit that like, hit that subscribe, turn your notifications on, stay with us, comment in. Tell us how you feel because Bill's scared to death now. <laughs> April 9th return. He says they said second week of April doesn't need more than three games before the playoffs. It's not like he's learning something new. I don't know. Who I mean, said he I, don't know. I saw, who I saw said, that he was passing earlier in the season. That's something new to me. Hold on. Who, who, who says he only needed three? Where, where's that? Where's that in the NBA dictionary? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my only question on what you said, Bill. Like, where, why is it three? Like, is that, like, who said that? I'm not saying it's wrong. I just, I didn't hear, like, oh, he needs three. You know, I'll be open for, like, you know, he's not got to learn something. It's not about learning anything. It's about stamina. It's about it's about basketball stamina. So, I mean, he might have to learn relearn how to walk. Right? Well, we've I been, mean, it's we've been down that road. Yeah. No, but take that take that ball in a tee. And we're back <laughs> out of here. Right, we're back out of here to start the third. Come on, let's go on a run here to start the third quarter. Right, Uber Ooh. driving a foul. There you go. It's a good start. I don't think he's going to the line now. Oh, that's not a good start. No, he's not going to the line. Suns win percentage, 92. It's <laughs> yeah. about right. Can the Sixers got a run in them? We got a run in this tonight, baby. Somebody. Tyrese can't even get open. Oh, my God. Maybe a run to the bench. <laughs> Run to the liquor store, probably. That's a big game for Phoenix, too. Yeah, it is. They're down that eighth spot. They're yeah. a game out of Sacramento for the six. I mean, ain't nobody trying to be playing playing games right now, but I mean, at least for us, if we play them, we have Joel, and we're not going to lose those, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Correct. Yeah, we shouldn't lose a playing game. With Joel and Bede healthy. Oh my God. Kelly Oubre just got rejected by the bottom of the backboard. <laughs> that's where, that's where you guys, where you at tonight? Kelly Oubre just got rejected by the bottom of the backboard. Devin Booker, good. <laughs> good. You're freaking old fashioned Rolly tonight. Hey, you got, you got anybody up for a roll job? We got a roll job in the making. Hey, Tom, you want to do, you want to do six or sons? Hey, Tom, let's do six or live reactions. Who approved this? Yep, we need a I new think. producer. That's all, mate. I take full responsibility. Maxie made a bucket. There we go. Now turn over Phoenix. Here we go. Come on, let's go. Let's go on a run. Let's go on a run. All right. Yeah. Good. Put 20 on him. Let's go. Plus 11 and a half. Let's go. Come join me, people. Come join me. A little 20 piece. Mo Baba for three. We're right on cue with the 20 piece. Let's go. Sixers down 10. That's a cover. <laughs> Mo Bamba's Mo Bamba's got to match Bo Bowl. Here comes what Durant. you can do, I can do better. There's Durant. Good. <laughs> that was fun. I'm as unathletic as you. Oh, Kyle and Nick Batoon for the easy dunk. Heck, pass. what's Mia Ham doing? Uh, I'd rather watch her play right now. By the way, this the scoreboard's wrong on here because he dunked it. Oh my god! Oh, that's not a foul. That's not a foul. That's no call. Mo Bamba just got elbowed right in the grill. No call. <laughs> no call. Ubre for three. That just hit Tempe. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a great golf course in Tempe. There's some good golfing out there. Yeah. Six is down 14. Devin Booker just jumped out the gym. I got to get out there for, for, for spring training, too, one time, one year. I would love to go. When Cass gets older, I would, love to, I would love to go to Arizona for one year and then take a right in the clear water. Just spend yeah, like, buddy, one in on like clear water for like a, oh, like one year. And I'm like, all right, next year, we're going to, go to spring training. And he's like, I'm moving to Boston. Thanks, pal. Yeah, go work out of you, pal. 
Good work. Well, John, that's what we talked about, brother. Like that's the that's the big thing about this basketball team is with no Joel, your defense takes a massive hit. Yeah. And rightfully so. Defense? A seven rightfully foot so. two guy with like a forty foot wings wingspan. There you go. Not even that, because there's there's guys like that. It's 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 his ability to defend anything. It's his ability when you switch on him that ain't easy. Like you just can't take him off the dribble easy. Like we've yeah. watched it. His rim protection, we know, right? We know about his rim protection. But like you, it's all it just changes everything. That's it. Like Mo Bamba and Paul yeah. Reed are not him. So that's that's where it is. And now you're yeah, now you're, you're going heavy. You know, you don't have a lot of size. And you're seeing that tonight where you're getting bullied. I mean, tonight's bully ball. Absolute bully ball when you talk about the amount of rebounds that basketball team has. We got 36. 36 boards to our 19. Yeah. 36 and, and to 19. Nurk- and Nurkic is one of those guys that grabs boards even before he was in uh, Seattle or Phoenix, wherever the freak he is. But, yeah, he, he's always been a rebounder, so 100%. It's not even his Obama sucks. That's why. And yeah, of course, I mean Joel is a really upper L echelon defender, but it's also more the you know the quote unquote fear, you know that he gives people who are coming in the lane or or when you know when he when they come around a ball screen, you got a seven footer sta- staring at you. You're like, all right, what's going to happen? Right. Kevin Durant passes. Shaquille O'Neal for eighth place all time score. Well deserved. Tidbit. Yeah. And well deserved. Yeah. He's an all time great score. Can't take that away from him. No. Of course not. Well, he, well he'll tweet about it. So somebody will. Well, he will from his burner account. That's what I mean. Somebody will. <laughs> Somebody will be tweeting. Kevin Durant, he's very underrated. It says, uh, not Kevin Durant, 64. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. All right. Down 14. Mike says a little 10-2 run. We'll love Ooh. that. Talk be dirty nice. to me, Mike. Let's go, baby. Starts with a bucket here. Oh, my God. Turnover. Jeez. Down 16. Ooh. Oh, maybe not yet. Coming soon now. That escalated soon. quickly. Yep, that's from three. That's good. You knew that was good. Durant from three. Oh, my God. Mo Bamba and Old Vice three on the other end. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, he's open, but still. <laughs> the modern NBA is such a... Sh- or not even NBA, the modern basketball is just, it's an incredible game, right? There's like, yep. there's no feel for life, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, you're down. Chuck it. Yeah, Mo Bamba, you're down. You know, you were down 20 points, right? 16 points, 17 points, whatever it is. Yeah, let's just fire up the first three we get from our seven-footer who can't shoot. Yeah. That or the fact that you're lot. shooting, or the fact that you're shooting 23% from three, like, Yep. Like the one thing about sports is the easiest thing to comprehend is everything's about like everything's contagious, mm-hmm. right? Everything in, in, in basketball and all sports, baseball, hitting is contagious. Everything's contagious. So if you're not making them, they keep taking more and more. doesn't mean you're going to make them. Correct. <laughs> so it means like I got to get downhill. Oh my God! You call that? This is unbelievable. He's running into him. He's running into him. He's boy balling him and getting away with it. Nurchik. Tobias looking on. Thanks, Toby. I, Appreciate you, buddy. I really use my four points tonight. <laughs> Boy, you're being generous. Tom. <laughs> What's the call? What's the call? What's the call? Now you want to get fucking involved. You haven't involved all night. So you can't box out? Oh, my God. You, now you can't box everybody out. Mo Bomb is, is, is a dog on a hardwood floor, too. And Kyle Lowry with a great box out. 
Like, what do you want him to do? Oh, oh my God, no. <sighs> Use a bucket. Anybody? Lowry from three. Got it. No. Sixers back down 12. Oh, woo. Oh, we we'll saw something early. Saw it early. Mo with a block. Hey, Mo. Oh, Mo. Hey, Mo. Best player on the floor. Oh my God, they call that a they, now they call that a block. Jesus. Lowry, and he steps out. Oh my God. <laughs> Answered the Ubre, and Ubre stepped out of bounds. Of course, he does. The pass was a little long, like underneath the basket. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sort of led him to the boundary. Not the best pass. Saw him late. What's this guy thrown on the floor? What's going on? Somebody threw something on the court. I like it. Hopefully the Sixer fan. Toby's in street clothes. That's always fun. That's a walk. That's a walk. Oh my god. Maybe I I just saw the the Kyle Rowley box out of Nurkic. Maybe that's why they face guard and they face box out because you can't actually box somebody out because it's a foul apparently. What was that call? What is that call? And we're just calling things now. It's not on Maxi. It's on Batoon. Oh my God, Grayson Allen's hair. Did you get punched in the face? <laughs> He's a Duke guy, so probably. I love my Duke dudes, though. Oh my God. Him, JJ Redick. Yeah, that, that all. Yeah, that makes sense. That tracks. Eleven. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Get it under ten. Nope. Oh, a roll, a Kawhi roll. From three for Ubre. Yeah. You didn't see that one yet, Greg. No. I'll, come, I'll, come I'll see it like next week. Booker from three. <laughs> Big board. We're, me and Greg are like on a run. On a run. Paul Reed with it. Can we get it under? We get the single. Paul Reed. Got it. Let's go. Let's go. Down nine. Down nine. A little run. Need a little runny poo. T.O. T.O. Little runny poo. We talked about at the beginning of the show. They're for oh turnover, turnover time, turnover. We talked at the beginning of the show. Their fourth quarter efficiency being the worst in basketball. That's absurd. Yeah. So you mentioned it, you mentioned it, and that's the first time I've heard that, Tommy. That's absurd. Like you said, knowing the killers that they have. Yeah, that's the big thing. All right, we got to miss three coming up. And apparently the world's greatest three-point shooter. I will give him credit. I didn't think he lasted in the league this long. Who? Grayson Allen. I will give him credit. Well, he, found, he just found his shot. Like it's it's yeah. like most like that's what most I said. I'll give him credit. Yeah, he, he obviously worked on improving his shot because he knew that's what he was gonna be. Like, how do I anger everyone who breathes and also drain threes in their face? Yeah. Facts. Maybe he'll have a podcast with a famous athlete. Down 14. Again. That escalated quickly. Yeah, we just can't get stopped. We can't make yeah. shots. That's this whole game, though. Let's be honest.
Yeah, I mean, when, when you're when you're, misses. when you're struggling to to make shots. Oh my god, another of, one. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, another one. He's his average is going to be up to like sixty percent by the end of this game. 81 64 Suns. This is a roll job happening right in front of her face. Wow. Is this game over yet? No. I wish it was. I wish it could be like, eh. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. We're done. <laughs> We've had enough. Would, we really anyone, anyone be, would anyone be like, no, come on, guys, keep watching? How many people would unfollow if we just said, yep, yeah, yeah, we're done? <laughs> and I straight. think zero. <laughs> yeah, and how many people would actually follow even more if we were like, yeah, yeah, we're done? We're done. I honestly think we could get more followers because people would just be like, you know what? I understand. I understand the thought process behind this. Yeah, Tom's been saying the you know real talk, no agenda for years, and <laughs> he's going to play this out. That's real talk. You're going to tell my child, sell, sell us. You sell a used car. You can sell a tank off a car lot. What do you <laughs> Come on. You going to tank off a car lot on me, Tom? Oh, I can't sell that. It's like this is, I can only try to sell you when it be. Oh, they that. sold it. You're, you're, you are incorrect, sir. They sold it. Well, this thing's going to be in a playing game. Yeah. If, if they're lucky. But now yeah. it's that, they're now it's, that far. now it's that Kings, now it's that Kings game. Which yes. is that one you got to take. Yeah. Because that's probably a better matchup for you, too, size wise. Yeah. This game's going to give you this, this one, like, gives you trouble. Rightfully so. They got some, they got some size, you know, and, and, and you, sh and, and, and I can't ever say his name. Nurchik. Nurkic. Yep. Nurchik, Nurkic. whatever. And, uh, and Eubanks. I mean, Eubanks, I told you, I feel like he was like Michael Jordan as a big man in this game. <laughs> Nick there's huddling with his coaches. What are we going to do here, fellas? How about we get a stop one time? Eddie chiming in. Thanks for doing the show. I know tonight wasn't easy. Appreciate it. We're here. You know us, Eddie. Ryan. We're Thanks, here Eddie. through the darkest Appreciate days. You, We're here through the darkest days of the sports world. You know what I mean? We didn't go nowhere. We didn't just start a podcast that day like some cats. We just didn't leave. Whole country, so we're gonna make COVID. Whole country, week into COVID was like, eh, you know what? I'm gonna make a career out of this. <laughs> well, it was oh, that. You, had cat, you had cats who like say five words. You had cats say like five words at Thanksgiving dinner, being like, "Yo, I can do this shit." <laughs> My bad, Maxi. Yep, that didn't even make it to Tempe. Oh my god! This is this is a disaster. He rebounds oh, again? too. Oh, run! Let's go. Crazy that one rebounds. <laughs> oh, hey man! Got block. Paul Reed just got snuffed. This is a joke. So I would love him on the Sixers just because of how angry he would make everyone. What's that call? Nobody got to that ball. Oh yeah, he, he would infuriate everybody. Oh my Booker. god! I love it. Sixers down it made 19. Me so happy. Yeah, if you're keeping track yeah, at home, he'd he he be like Kevin Ace. Like the whole fan base would hate him. It's okay. Yeah. Let, oh, buddy, heel with a basket. Listen, Anzi, if anybody came in here thinking, like, if we started to show, like, yeah, guarantee the Sixers win, I think you're misguided. You know, we definitely started to show thinking, like, they could, they could hang and maybe steal it. But everybody you're knows it was. Yeah, it was a steal fest. You weren't going to yeah. just go in there and like anybody come and be like, yeah, here we go. I also yeah, don't think anyone him. figured they'd be out rebounded by like 50 to 20, and the 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 Suns would be shooting like 60% from three. Well, that's the biggest indictment of, I don't want to say the offseason, but the biggest indictment, again, I'm not saying the out rebounding. Like, I could tell you to get out rebound with no Tobias. Because then you get really small. Yeah. 
you get really small. I'm not crowning Tobias. I'm just you get really, really small. The group. I mean, look what you're running out there. Who's a better rebounder, KJ Martin or Tobias? Right. Yeah. I mean, look at the oh, five right. on the floor. Paul Reed's your biggest guy. He's not even seven foot. No. He's what six ten? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If. And Nurkic is legit seven foot. So. Legit showed it a couple times on his block. Yeah. On Q. I just saw the one block. Call on Q. Yeah. That's just like a you that's just like not fair. Yeah. That's like cat that's like cats trying to go up and lay one in on me. <laughs> you all cast on the on the fisher yeah. pricer. Get I'll out of here. Get out of here. Smoke. I'll smoke it off the backboard. I don't give it. I don't I don't care. Somebody's got a point. Did you miss the free throw? Yes. Oh. I might just keep taking deep breaths. <laughs> I can't. I just. I, I. Oh my god! I missed the second one too. Guy got sixty million dollars. Sixty million guaranteed money. Sixty million guaranteed money. It's amazing. Well, the good news is. They're not going to have to worry about bringing them back because they're not getting to the second round of the playoffs. <laughs> Who? What? What? What happened? Well, no. I, Paul Reed's guarantee kicker kicks in after if they make it to the second round. So literally, what? this the Sixers will have Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey, the only people on their roster heading into the offseason. Good. Wait, what? Paul Reed has a clause in his contract that he's he did sign a multi year deal, but the deal his second year becomes guaranteed if they make it to the second round of the playoffs. So if it doesn't, they can void out of it and it's not a guaranteed deal. Why? What that what? what? Yeah, it's weird. I didn't write it. Who wrote it? Uh, a, good, a good lawyer, supposedly. Why? What happened? Why? Who signs that deal? Who, Paul who, Reed to get, to get some guaranteed cash. What kind of jackass signs that deal? Uh, KJ McDaniels, is, uh, apparently. Talk about a team that can never get out of the second round. What the hell are we talking about? You got to get out of it or you got to get to it? I think get to it. Oh, they can get to it. I mean, I know they're down 22. You're like, Tom, what? Like, <laughs> but I'm like, dude, you, you, come on, dude. Could they so even, get to, a hun- could they the even in- get to 100, Tom? Come on now. Come on. The, the impact of not having this guy, can we stop? I agree with you. No, I come on. It ain't, it, it's, it's not the same team. If we're going to look yeah, at it like well, it's the same product. Now, what shape is he even going to be in come playoff time? Why won't he be in good shape? Why can't he be in good shape? Like a, a after playing four or five games, what, what what would make him not in shape enough? After four or five games to start the year, he looked pretty in shape. <laughs> if anything, he'd be he'd be he'd be well rested, like Bill said. First thing Bill said, right in like twenty years on a two day in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Bill. What up, Swoopy? Um, yeah, I mean. Come on, you can't look at the team the same way. It's that's that's unfair. It's unfair. Right now they look like they stink. Tyrese Maxey looked like he's he went to a brothel. I mean, what, what did he do last night? It looks like his legs are gone. He might do need his to, best varsity to to impression. He might need to learn how to walk in his new legs. There's the legs, and he missed it, and no call. Wow. Wow. Yeah, he stinks tonight. He definitely stinks tonight. First time I said that about him probably in his career. Yeah. I don't know, Bucket. Grayson Allen. Oh my God. Guys taken to the taken to the goddamn rack. Twenty two. 
or 24. Holy smokes. Can he so get we're to So we're going to get a miss here. Yep. Oh, my God. Hey, Maul. Maul, what up, brother? Maul, Maul. The Cowboys doing nothing, Maul. They didn't do no, nothing. That's so not Eric Kendricks. <laughs> Might as well bring Michael out of jail. Sorry, too soon. No. Oh my God! Is he right. still there? In jail. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, he he's still be. in jail. I don't know if he's yeah. in jail. He's really in jail. I mean, I know he had some, some issues. I didn't think he was going to jail. I didn't think pro players went to jail unless they kill somebody. <laughs> so like that was and even that's, qu- and even that's yeah. questionable. I mean, come on, Nate Newton had fucking 500 pounds in his car back in the day. Yeah. And, and Nate, you play for the Cowboys? Yeah, Nate. That's when you can do the, that's when you can do the, you know who I am, right? Like, yeah. you can't do it. Marcel Ozuna can't do it for, down in Atlanta, playing for the Braves. Dansby Swanson right. probably could have. Freddie Freeman could have said, yeah, <laughs> Freddie Freeman could say, yo, know, Freddie Freeman from the Braves, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. lo- like Bra- Braves life for at the time, right? Braves life yeah, for Frank the time. Moore. Yeah, yeah. Chipper Jones. Hey, you know Chipper Jones. I'm Chipper Jones in the Braves. Tom Glavin, Greg Maddox. Right. He could be like, oh yeah. And I and not the normal. Michael the normal Irvin could have got pulled over with like his face covering cocaine in, but like, keep it moving, he sir. Did. You're fine. He did. He did. I'm, I did. Greg's heard that story. I was like 12 years old. Those guys were blowing lines of cocaine in, in Molly and Mall. My, so how and my, come you and my you uncle's guys, nightclub? Guys, my mom, how come you guys keep building through through the draft? You extend someone, and then like within a year, you cut them. Yeah, and Marshall's right. Ray Lewis killed a guy. Yeah, you know what I mean. Allegedly, but wasn't he involved with the killing? Not, uh, yeah, like killing. he was. He was around. I don't know if it was his knife. I don't know the details, but he was around. Like you, you can literally almost kill somebody. I mean, OJ did, and the glove didn't fit. Well, they got right? him. Like, they think got about him. They got him later on for something else. They didn't get him for that. That's the beauty of the wall. It's all about. It's not what you what you say. It's how you say it. So yeah, essentially, NFL got you know pros can go around doing whatever the hell they want. They could at a certain point. I mean, you can punch. Obviously, they're allowing punching women in the face as an okay thing to do. So. I mean, wow, yeah. When well, the more you think about it, I really don't even like it. You know, I, I, I don't even. Want, I might, I might turn A two D off. I'm done with sports. It's Tom Arno, A two D Radio. No notes. No more games. <laughs> no oh more my games. god. KJ Martin just shot that. Like Jesus, I can't. I cannot tonight. Let's put that on a t shirt. No I cannot. I cannot tonight with that song. Neither can anyone else on this team. Left-handed runner. <laughs> like Kyrie trying to end the game, didn't, right? <laughs> they didn't get over the rim. The left hand the rim. shot to end the game. <laughs> oh, God. Dude. I'd rather watch you and Greg play than this team. Jesus, God. Yeah, this this is this is this live reaction is about to end. Um, <laughs> it's about to end. Unless there's like haven't we suffered it- enough for the people. Yeah. I mean, you haven't. Yeah, you definitely haven't. You haven't. You haven't had eyeballs on it. You know, you've had no eyeballs on this. You don't know what what, what I'm going through here. <laughs> Which is amazing that you don't have eyeballs on the game. You're just like a guy in the chat that's in here. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just a guy like letting the chat in here. Like he, <laughs> you ain't watching it. You, you just here talking. <laughs> March, I'm going to switch it in a minute. Relax. Get off my neck. Get off my neck. <laughs> Get I, love you. I feel like you're. I feel like you're breathing down my neck. Get off of me, Martian. Well, Mar- Martian, you know, Martian's a lifer, right? So every show he's going to be on, he's like, I want to go to bed. I, I don't want to stay up to watch this mess. But I can't leave you guys. I love you guys too much, and we love you too, Martian. We do too, brother. Yep. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna this. suffer with you guys. <laughs> oh, Ricky Cat. Oh, Ricky Cat's behind the back. Oh, hey, Rick. Animus. Oh, we, got a, 
We got a Ricky Council signing? Hey, Mo, and a foul. We're back. You get it the 20. Get it down to 20. I just saw the K.J. Martin uh, hook shot. <laughs> Henry Rux. Bill got it right. Second time he's been right in 20 years. Henry Rux. <laughs> Henry Rux. He right. There you go. Yeah, literally kill somebody. So, but that one was more provable. Yeah. Uh, for obvious reasons. Um, terrible. Well, you, terrible. when you crash into someone in the RAV4, they know this. I'm going to fuck. If I'm, Nick Nurse, if I'm Nick Nurse, I'm making everybody, we'll freaking shoot free throws in the goddamn tunnel because this is atrocious. Yeah. I've never seen anything worse than this. He missed the second one, too. This loser. Oh, my God. Get off the court. Yeah, yeah. I had a run out. A fan break dunk. Oh, my God. Nick, get thrown out, Nick. Please. Just pick something with somebody. <laughs> Go up in the stands. Run or test somebody. <laughs> <laughs> the melee at the palace. Malice the malice. The malice. The malice. The malice at the palace. Come on, man. How do you not know that? Oh, turnover. Oh, we're running. We're running. Right, Alley oop time. Back time. Alley oop time. <laughs> We're talking about 21. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And a bucket. Is that Bull Bull again? Is that Minute's boy? <laughs> yeah, Dante's tall words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dante. Dante, another guy. I had a cocktail with Dante. He's a prick. It's not shocking to hear. No, I, he's a prank. Ricky! Sixers down 21. <laughs> Just need a little run. Just need a little run. Yeah, there's examples, Swoop. <laughs> oh, my God. There's examples. Yeah, Ray Carruth. Ray Carruth was a piece of shit. Don says Mike Vick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was an easy one, though, too. Easy one to solve. Didn't need great detective work on that one. It doesn't take Johnny Cochran to put that away. No, no, no. <laughs> Some of them are just like, that was him. Well, Michael, it seems it's all in your name and signature. This is a pretty open and shut case there, Mikey. He's missed. Oh, my God. That ball went 75 feet in the air. I think he hit the arena scoreboard. Ricky Cat. Oh, my God. Greg, we're going to you see the reverse dunk by Ricky Council. <laughs> like you were throwing an NBA All Star game. I want a windmill. We're down twenty one. We're down twenty one. They're high fiving him on the bench. What is happening? <laughs> Way to go, man! Oh, they're down to play defense, Rick. Oh my God! Look at he's a G he's leaguer. He doesn't know what defense looks like. Son's full time out. Anthony, how are you? Don't call it a run. Is. Don't call it a run. You should have seen it. I yeah, I, I, hey, I was chasing 20 years in 02. <laughs> yep. Yep. I want to tell you that, Martian. <laughs> if I want to tell you that, because if Twan didn't tell you that, it ain't true. Oh. I didn't tell you that. <laughs> if you can't prove it, didn't happen. Oh, uh, yeah, there's stories. We could have did a whole show on that one, Don. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pro players pro players who were arrested and who weren't arrested. Yeah, right? <laughs> What's their more of? Ooh. What do you got? And then we know Mike. We know Nate. Yeah. Mike said Mike said the crackhead left the crack. Tyreek Hill. You imagine that? Imagine that. Name a crackhead you ran into. That's that's leaving their they're leaving their pipe and they're leaving the crack. Mike, you hold on to this, Mike. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna try to go to bed tonight, actually. Get the hell out of here. They don't leave people don't leave that. You might leave like your bowl and some weed at a boy's house. You know what I mean? Like that's a different story. I'm just gonna leave my bowl here. I'll sing about yeah, here's a little bit for you. There ain't nobody just giving out free cocaine. Well, not anymore. Wow. I just saw the Ricky Council. I can't believe that happened. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, the, I mean, the, come on. The Red, the Red Sea parted. By the way, like the yeah, yeah. Well, wow. Nobody... Mac McClung may had better dunks. 
Yeah, Cremont. Cremont. Cremont just kicked the girl. Yeah, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> hey, you got a second we'll chance. Got... Yeah, unbelievable. James and Mike. <laughs> what about James? I don't know where we're going. I mean, six are getting their ass whooped, and we're they're trying to like I don't I can't talk about Joel anymore. Like, if you don't know the impact he will have, then I can't help anybody. Why? So, what are we supposed to talk about? Ben Simmons in the off season. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's just trying to win. <laughs> and the Ravens, the Ravens made like a uh, had a Ray Rice day this year. Like that's they the did. best part about. It. Well, Martian, Martian, the Carter Hart's different, different country. Right? Different country. They don't give a shit about hockey over there. Yeah, right. You know? So they're gonna they're gonna smoke him. As he should. If all the if all that's true, that might be one of the most disturbing ones, you know, yeah, out there recently. Make sense? Like that's a lot going on. Only the Flyers could find their 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 supposed career goaltender and for him to be like the scum of all scum. Oh, I knew he was a scumbag three years ago. I didn't run around the airway. I didn't run around the airway saying it, but there was some truth that there was some truth in that, uh, dating back to some things I heard about him in DMs. So not taking no for an answer. So, you know, nothing. No, you know, no, these no. organizations can't follow cats around, man. You know, no. yeah. So these guys got. I mean, unless you gotta, you're the Patriots and Josh Gordon. Yeah, you gotta have you gotta have self control first off. One, you just have to be a a, a normal human being, right? And not yes. a scumbag. Pretty much, it yeah. starts with just don't be a scumbag. It's not, very, it's not hard. It's just not being an awful shirts. human being. Yeah, we should get shirts. Just don't be a scumbag. Don't be a scumbag. No notes. Don't be a scumbag while drinking your gin and juice. Laid back. Laid back. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel like he did. Yeah, Wander Wander Franco's different too, Don. Different country. They'll roll him over over there. Yeah, they don't They'll care. They don't him. care. It's like they don't give a shit. Oh, you want to talk about some interesting details? Though. That story is bananas. Yeah, yeah. We can save that for another show. Yeah. Is it like, are we smiling on the bench? We smile. Well, yeah, they're having a good time. Yo, guys, 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 smiling. I'm gonna drop the f bomb again. Oh. Billy start. Yay. Harper will have a bad back. That's great. But will Kyle Schwarber start? It's not right. What? Lead off? Will oh my start? God. It's 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 against humanity. What to lead him off? Yeah, I, I, every time I see people whine and cry and bitch about that, I can't stop laughing. Because I'm like, this is, you know where we're going. You know what's going to happen. They're not changing it. Like, why do you magically think it's going to happen? Just because idiots like Howard Eskin, like, cry on the radio about it. Um, I I feel about it. I feel, I feel both ways about it. Like, as I get a, it. As a guy, as a guy that's a, that's a baseball guy, like, mm-hmm. like, I would think, you know, my coach, I train it, teach it. I don't think there's a right way. I don't think you have prototypical leadoff hitters anymore. No. Um, so I, I go both ways, right? Like in that sense, like I just want a guy that's got plate discipline. It's either two things. Like I want plate discipline and like a contact speedy guy. If I have that guy that can work counts, foul pitches off, stay alive, work long ABs, they're the kind of guys I'm looking for. Now, now you're talking about, I remember when my guys were like, I want like at one point my my little leadoff hitter was a first pitch swinger, and would like just barrel go first pitch fastball line drive base hit and get the party started. So there's all types of different ones you can have, but I look at it as like what's your on base percentage, and I like average more than most people do, right? So I don't settle for the under Mendoza shit, right? But I I do put a lot of stock in on base percentage, home runs too. Right, you have to, but do I think Trey Turner it would probably be a better leadoff hitter here? Yes, but I think there's a catch twenty two in that that nobody talks about, and that catch twenty two is Schwarber's not as good in other spots mm-hmm. for whatever reason. 
So that's why that move. Yeah. That's why that move. It hasn't been like ever made. It's not about believing one way or the other. There isn't there again. There isn't a Webster's dictionary saying here's what a leadoff hitter needs to be. There needs to be things that leadoff hitters have to do. That's how you have to look at it. Like you have to. You're, you're building out your team. Okay. If I just had Trey Turner, and not Kyle Schwarber, then it's a no brainer. Yep. But Kyle Schwarber's always had more success leading off than he's had anywhere else in the lineup. And those numbers speak volumes for years. They, but they speak number. They, those numbers speak for years on end of yep. that. Right now, you have to go through the waves of him. His waves are worse than most guys. Yep. I mean, you're you're averaging like 48 home runs and like 100 plus walks a year with him in the leadoff spot. I'm cool with that. Like, obviously, you would like a little bit more speed, but like, I'll take it. Like, I'd rather have him at the top of the lineup to where he's not in the middle of the pack, like slowing shit down. Yep, absolutely. I'm and I'm not even too concerned about the speed aspect. I'm more concerned about the contact aspect. Right, give me that. Give me a little two thirty, as opposed to the one eighty nine. Right, you know what I mean. Like, put a little bit, put some more balls in play uh, than that. Because I mean, the speed in the major leagues, you could get around. Like, he's not clogging the bases. He's going to score on a double. Right, you know what I mean. Like, and stuff like that. So, I'm not too concerned with the speed. Yeah, prototypically, would I would I prefer it? Sure, but in this scenario. Uh, it's not like a make or break it to me. It's it's the contact, right? It, it's the that that's that's what it is for me. Because you're right, Tommy. When he's going bad, he's feast or famine, right? He yep. strike out or home run. But when and, he's and on, those, and those are tough to to get out of when you don't make contact on a regular basis. No, you're right. You're right. There's, like I said, there's two sides to it. Mm-hmm. There's two sides. There's a catch 22 when it comes to Schwarber and Turner. I don't care really because you leave off one time. Yep. So to me, it's, it, it, you can look at it being a little overrated. It's really who do you want to have more ABs? And when you're talking about a one spot to a two spot, it ain't that big of a difference. I'm, I'm right? cool with starting off 1 0 every time. Do you understand what I'm saying, though, guys? Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah, the one spot and the two spot, they're all they're at bats on the year aren't much different. So when you're talking about a guy who can hit 50, yeah, I'm probably trying to give him as many play appearances as I can, and he walks at an elite clip too. Yep. So it's not like like again, that's where they can sell you on his on base percentage. Strikeouts too high, but that's that's what power hitters do. You know, like I I'm not trying to make excuses for it, but that's what they do. I mean that's just modern baseball. If you hit home run a lot of home runs, you're gonna strike out a lot. Yeah, no, for sure. We got Atlanta, Don. Atlanta, we open against Atlanta. So I'm sure we'll be feeling good after that series. <laughs> there you go. Be two freaking, for three, two out of three. I can feel it right yeah, now. It'll be 38 degrees. You know what I mean? Acuna will hit four homers in the series. <laughs> They'll talk like they 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 run our shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'll talk like they run it. Sixers down twenty two. Woohoo! Trying to make a run at it. That being said, I'm going to make that executive decision and end I, I trust Sixers live. We're going to end the Sixers live stream as they get their doors blown off. Down twenty one. We had good intentions. Yeah. <laughs> so we did. That count. We got it. Now we get ready for, you know, now as the NFL junkies, we get ready for the draft. And we'll give you coverage. We'll give you coverage leading up to it and coverage during it like we do. And, then, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll be here for the Sixers whenever MB gets back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, glad to see Jim Lynham shaved the shaved the werewolf beard. Ah, did he? Yeah. 
doesn't look like like a hobbit anymore. Three from Grayson. I can't believe I'm still watching it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Tom? Like grow grow up. Grow <laughs> up, Peter Pan. Okay. All right, before we get out of here, anything you guys want to talk about? I mean, I'll end the Sixers conversation with like, pray we get you all and be back as soon as possible. Yep. Can we stay out of the play in? Doesn't look good. It'd be nice. But we would hope that maybe we can, if we get five games out of him, maybe we can win five in a row. <laughs> right. Maybe we That'd can, maybe stretch. we can do, yeah, maybe we can do something like that. Right. So that's what, that's what we're hoping for. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for. And, and if we get that and we get in back, I, I I like our chances as much as anybody for the most part. I saw Bill made a comment, you know, while oh, the playoffs are, you know, are in in jeopardy, right? And I mean, listen, man, it's the NBA, anything can happen, right? But we're not falling past the Hawks. The Hawks are uh, eight games below us right now, right? You know what I mean? So like the Hawks are tw- like we were gonna lose it. Obviously, we lost this game. And we're going to fall into the seven spot, maybe the eight spot, because Miami, according to Bill, and he's been right a couple of times tonight, so we'll go with the trend that he continues to be right. You know, we'll go into the eight spot because Miami is going to hold a tiebreaker over us. Uh, yeah. But that still puts us four games ahead of the Bulls and seven games, seven and a half games above the Hawks. I mean, if if you don't make the playoffs from there, that's – that's a Eagles type collapse, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't see that happening, and I can't imagine that happening. You'd have Not to go tonight. like two and two and twelve. I'm just messing with things since we're in here. No, I don't see that happening. I really don't, and I also don't think they're they're good at all right now without them. Um, but they did win two games, you know, the last two before this, which were which are games they needed. And you'll take it. You know, Charlotte's one you have you, obviously if you lose that to stop playing. Right. Um, but Miami's a tough game always, even without Jimmy. So, you know, it's a tough game and they're able to win that basketball game. So that was nice. And you would hope it would carry it over to a better effort tonight. But I don't even think it's effort. I just don't think we're good enough. Right now. Uh, yeah. Right now. With no Tobias too. You have no Melton still. He might never play again, I guess. You have no you have no road. He's definitely gotta learn how to walk. Yeah, you got no Rocco, no one beat. So this is nowhere close to what we thought we were we were going to get here. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but I think they're different when they get them back, and I think we'll be better. So that's all that matters to me. And you just got to hang in here. You got to go yeah, steal. You got to go steal one when they play again. When they play the Lakers, Friday. Friday night, nice. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you just gotta find a way to win those games that you can win, right? Like, like we talked, like we tried to talk it into existence earlier, right? When we yeah. were in this game today, we got to try and steal that because that's you're gonna be your best chance. Obviously, it got away from us. Not shocking entirely, but when you have those opportunities to win games like that, you have to go and do what you can to win those games because, as of right now, without him, it's gonna be few and far between for now. For sure. And that's how that's expected. Yeah. Goodness gracious. You know, that is absolutely expected here. So, you no, know, Eagles looking good. Excited about that. Excited about what they've yeah. done. So, you know, that's been great news. Yeah. This offseason by Howie Roseman's organization. Great stuff. And then Philly start Thursday. Opening day guy, Zach Wheeler. Let's get after it. All right, let's hope this team can come out a little hotter than they have in the past. Oh, and so we'll obviously nice. dive into it all next Wednesday mm-hmm. with you all as we head out of here tonight. And we, we gave you pretty much to the final. Sixers lose, Sixers lose, Sixers lose. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully that's not a trend coming up here. But yep, wheels up, wheels up for wheels. Let's go, let's go try to let's go try to win a series to start the season off. There we go. Probably be cold as shit. Um, hopefully not. But listen, we love y'all. We appreciate yeah, everybody for you. tuning in tonight. Trying to do live reactions with you. A little watch party here. 
and we'll keep them coming, especially when the big fellow gets back. And, you know, hopefully we have some Phillies things in store for you as well. But, you know, you can get all our content and all our, all our news, memes, et cetera. Follow us on all our platforms. HD Radio is where you find us. For Pete Young, Greg Malakovic, I'm Tom Arnone. No Chrome tonight. No No tonight. No Luke tonight. And we'll be back at it. And no Blake. And we'll be back at it next Wednesday night. Come talk Phillies with us next Wednesday night. And obviously me and Greg and the boys on the Green Disagree will be giving you a whole spring training breakdown. And we have Mitch Williams. Here's the thing segment coming up for you as well every Wednesday too. So stay tuned for that. We love you. We miss Joel.